Hi and welcome to Peak Survival. Thank you to all our subscribers that joined us in our competition. Before I give you the answers though, there's a few things I want to review with you about the uh, situation I presented. Now, in a survival situation like this one, you want to keep warm, so you want to minimize the traveling distance. You want to stay in place and work on building a fire. Another thing to keep in mind, shock. A lot of people are going to be scared, panicking, feeling helpless, hopeless, lonely, and every decision that you you make will impact the lives of those around you so you really want to pace yourself calm down and you know work with what you have and make those right decisions another thing in the scenario presented is that there are you are 80 miles away from the nearest town now even on a good day 80 miles is pretty far and you add in winter and minus 40 temperatures coming your way that is just a setup for disaster you will probably get lost and die of severe hypothermia so these are things to keep in mind now because you're staying in place your focus is heat and obviously signaling. They know that you have crashed, you're obviously off the grid and you haven't uh, landed where you were supposed to. So they're gonna be looking for you. So with that in mind, let's move on to um, the order from one to 15, what is important. Keep in mind, this uh, scenario was provided to us by a US special, uh, special Forces survival instructor. Now this is based on his experience and um, these are the answers he's provided us. Uh, obviously some of you might uh, <laughs> you know, debate with us, that's fine, feel free, we're, we're welcoming of uh, any kind of comment, uh, but this is based on his experience. So here we go, number one, lighter. Even though there's no fuel in the lighter, you can use the spark to start a fire. And how? Well, with steel wool. I don't have any right now on me, but the steel wool is amazing at catching sparks. So combining those two, you have a fire. Now you can work on preserving body heat. Number three, clothing. This will create insulation. It'll keep the group warm. And you can build a shelter with extra clothing. You can signal by waving clothing around. You can create bedding, bandages, and in desperate situation, fuel for fire. Number four, a can of lard. Now this has multiple uses. You can use it as a signal mirror. By um, polishing it with some steel wool, this will generate five to seven million candle power. And you can climb a tree to get higher, even get to higher elevation, have someone signal, and you have 80% chance of being rescued within the first day when you're signaling. Another thing, the contents inside, you can put it on your skin to protect yourself against the cold. You can also use as fuel for a candle and an empty can, water storage, and you can also use the can to melt snow. Hydration is crucial. Number five, a knife. Now, for you knife enthusiasts out there, this is a 510 Rant Bowie knife. I'm gonna be doing a review on it shortly. A knife will provide constant supply of firewood. You can clear the area for shelter, cut branches, example spruce and pine tree for ground insulation. Now two inches of spruce or pine will uh, provide 50 times more insulation than snow. So again, it's keeping you warm. Number six, this is gonna be uh, symbolizing rope. This will improve your shelter building significantly. Now keep in mind, there's no natural or easily accessible um, rope. So, um, you, you know, you gotta work with this. And also you can tear small pieces and uh, make snare. However, chances are you may not get very much or even anything, and uh, you really wanna conserve your energy. Number seven, chocolate. This will provide energy, it's great, it has carbs, and it's not gonna create major digestive demands on your body, plus it's a moral booster. Number eight, newspaper. You can use this obviously to start fire, uh, insulation in your clothing, or even reading material, great for the morale until you actually need to use it. Number nine, okay, we don't have a 45 caliber pistol, this will symbolize it. Uh, but yes, a pistol, this, uh, you can use it to create the international dist distress signal, three shots in repetition. Why? Well, chances are, by the time you get uh, found, you may not have enough energy to make enough noise for the search party. Now again, keep in mind, you don't want to waste bullets trying to catch small game unless you have a, an expert that happens to be there with you. Uh, you can uh, use the butt of the pistol, actually, uh, as a hammer to help you chop wood with your knife. 
Another thing, you can use a black powder to help uh, with fire. And then uh, you can also use a small piece of cloth and place an empty cartridge of the pistol and uh, start a fire by firing the pistol. These are really neat things to know. Okay, number 10, um, flashlight. You can use it for signaling, fire starting with the battery. You can combine that with the steel wool. I'm going to show you how in another video shortly. And obviously light in the evening. Number 11, compress kit. You can use this to light a fire, insulation, or possible injuries in the near future. Right now, everyone's okay. Number 12, a lot of you <laughs> like the whiskey. So whiskey, you can use it for fire building aid. Uh, the empty bottle can be used as water storage. But a negative about this is someone might, uh, you know, go and drink it and this will lead to hypothermia because the alcohol, I don't know if some of you know, takes the temperature it's exposed to. So if you're drinking this in minus 30 degree temperature, uh, this will freeze your stomach and esophagus. Watch our video on hypothermia. Number 13, a compass. Now, a negative thing about this, uh, is some people might be encouraged to uh, start walking to the nearest town with it. But like I said, stay in place, they're gonna come and find you. And some compasses have a lot of shiny uh, surface, so you can also use that as signaling. Number 14, ski poles. You can use these for shelter building. Finally, number 15, the map. This encourages, this might be a negative because it'll encourage someone to walk to their nearest town in combination with the compass, but stay in place. And another great uh, use for a map is actually um, ground protection or as a water container. This has sort of like a wax surface on it so you can fold it to create uh, a bowl. So there you have it, 1 to 15, these are the answers. Uh, we're going to look on our postings right now and see if anyone has those in specific order right and uh, congratulations to those of you who uh, were patient enough to partake in this competition we look forward to having a few more competitions with you in the future and stay tuned for more wonderful videos